What's up YouTube? My name is Clickwood and I am back again bringing you guys a new video. So if you've been a subscriber to my channel since I created it a few months ago, you know that I've mostly been focused on uploading Madden Ultimate Team content along with a little bit of MLB The Show. But today I want to talk to you about a game that I'm personally extremely excited for and that's EA Sports UFC. For those of you who don't know, I'm actually a huge fan of the UFC and mixed martial arts as a whole. I've been a featured columnist over at Bleacher Report for almost two years now, writing basically exclusively about MMA, a little bit of fantasy football, but mostly MMA with an obvious focus on the UFC. And I've personally attended UFC events, Strike Force events, Bellator events, uh, and dozens of regional MMA events as a member of the press. So, you know, having that opportunity to sit closer than you can even buy tickets for the event and and it's just been a crazy experience it's given me such a great uh unique look at the sport and it's really made me even a bigger fan than i was going into it so needless to say i'm really excited ab about this game i'm really looking forward to it and i think that the ufc has kind of an opportunity to pull themselves even further into the mainstream with this game They've done a very good job with the 18 to 35 year old male audience over the past few years since they've really had that, you know, that boom. And that boom kind of came from the 18 to 35 year old male audience and, you know, even some of the female audience because what they, what they actually were tuning in for in a lot of cases was the Ultimate Fighter. And the Ultimate Fighter, for those of you who don't know, is kind of, it's kind of like a cross between uh, the Tough Enough or the NXT that the WWE did, and uh, and then it's kind of a cross between that and the real world from MTV. So it kind of crossed two different genres, the, the real life type of thing though that you know excited people and it was kind of growing at that point in time from the survivors and the big brothers of the world. But now those people are starting to get a little bit older and the UFC has to kind of look at how they can pull in this younger demographic. And I'm mostly talking about people that are, you know, 16, 17 years old that are going to be the, that 18 to 35 year old audience over the next few years. So one of the things that they can do is focus on the video games. And it's something that the UFC has done. They did have the undisputed video games a few years ago. And uh, EA Sports themselves made EA MMA, but they haven't really been able to merge those two things together, the EA Sports and the UFC. And those two brands together, I think, really have a big opportunity to grow the UFC as a whole and bring it into the spotlight. You know, it's probably not ever going to be as big as the NFL or Major League Baseball or the NBA, but there's no reason that the UFC can't be bigger than the NHL. So... I think that that's kind of what they're focusing on here and this is a huge opportunity for them to really come out swinging and start to take some of that uh, that audience away from some of these other sports or at least you know add to their own audience from those sports. So the game itself was announced months ago and all reports still say that it's coming out sometime in spring of 2014 but as that gets closer and closer, we still don't really have a definitive date on when the UFC game is actually going to be released. So this past week, we did get a sneak preview on what the roster is going to look like, so that was cool. Uh, they announced like 100 names or so, including fighters in all nine of the UFC's weight classes, including the even including the women's division, the uh, bantamweight division, which really makes this one of the biggest rosters in the history of fighting games. In addition to them having such a huge roster though, the graphics look amazing for this game. I mean, you look at some of these fighters that they have in there that they've released screenshots of and that you're seeing on the screen right now, and they look almost like photographs of these guys. I mean, we're talking like down to things like the cauliflower ear and the way that their specific ear is shaped. It's crazy. So it's awesome that they're taking such a long amount of time to put this game together and make it as realistic as possible. But what we still don't know is what kind of features this game is going to have. I think it's safe to assume that there's going to be some sort of career mode, obviously. I mean, the Undisputed Games had that, um, that were developed by THQ a few years ago. And the EA Sports MMA game that they put out, put out back in 2010, that had a career mode. But since 2010, things have changed a lot 
especially at EA Studios. You know, rather than focusing on developing things like the franchise mode or the career modes or whatever you want to call them, the decision makers over at EA have found a new way of generating a crazy amount of money in microtransactions. And of course, I'm talking about the Ultimate Team game modes. They've done it for Madden, they've done it for the NHL series, they've done it for NBA Live, and of course they did it for FIFA, and all of them have been just a massive success. Now granted, as players we might not agree that all of those game modes have been worth the money, but from EA's standpoint as a corporation, Ultimate Team is like the ultimate cash cow, and they're milking it for every penny that they can possibly get. So I guess the question at this point is, with only a few months left before this game is supposedly going to be released, is EA planning on putting an Ultimate Team game mode into the UFC game? Like I said, there's obviously the potential for there to be a lot of money made on Ultimate Team, but I wonder if they can realistically pull it off in this short of amount of timeline, unless, you know, they've been working on it since day one and it hasn't somehow slipped out. Now, of course, nothing would be worse than them releasing a half-assed version of Ultimate Team because if people are going to put additional money into a game that they already spent 60 or 70 bucks on, they're going to want to get something good out of it. But if they do it right, UFC Ultimate Team could be amazing, and it could be a huge financial success for EA Sports and the UFC. So what do you guys think? I mean, are you looking forward to this game as much as I am? And what do you think about the possibility of including some sort of Ultimate Team feature in the upcoming UFC game? Let me know in the comments section below. I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys and discussing the possibilities. And I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Sorry that it doesn't really have any gameplay in the background, but here's some cool pictures anyway. If you did like the video though, please press the like button. And if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would greatly appreciate that as well. You can press the subscription button below. Otherwise, I will also put an annotation here. Bling! There it is. Click on that baby and you'll be able to be updated every time I put out a new video. So thank you guys so much for watching. My Madden Ultimate Team Super Bowl game is going to be up in the next couple of days, so be on the lookout for that. Thanks again, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.